Hey everyone, this is Chala Dinkoy, CEO and founder of The Repositioning Expert. Welcome to another Tuesday Tea Time with Chala. Again, I have my hot chocolate. I didn't want to change the name of the show. <laughs> you see me quite, you know, uh, workout-ish, a little bit pale and almost no makeup and just like glowing. And it's because my eczema, which has started because of the extreme cold weather and probably menopausal hormone issues and has moved on into lovely like change of texture of skin. And I just spent an enormous amount of time in the sun. It was like 32 degrees um, Celsius in Montreal where I was and it just flared up. So now I look like I've had Botox. It's all like swollen and I am heading to the doctor. So I'm waiting for a call any minute. So I'm like going to rush through not to, t not to, to make you feel like you're not important, but uh, I'm trying to get this one done fast because I have some really great information to share with you because the number one way to market is through emails. And the number one thing that's most important about getting your emails opened is their uh, subject titles, their headlines. So it's the subject line. And um, it's the most important part of the email. And people get on average 121 emails per day. It's crazy. And email takes on average 11 hours a week of someone's time. It is still the number one most cost effective way to market. And these, uh, the research and the, the stats come from uh, a, a site called earthweb.com. Now here's some real quick little mini tips for headers to make them, to, uh, for subject titles to make them more sticky, meaning that people notice them, it sticks to their attention, so they open it. The first one is to put an action command in the actual subject title. So something like respond now or required response or urgent action needed or confirmation needed. So uh, tell them exactly what to do, what's required. That it, I call it a, a action command. The second way to really get sticky headlines, um, subject titles is put a time command there. So not only are you doing a command, but put a time restriction on it. So Friday response, please. Approved by EOD, please. Uh, please confirm now. So stuff like that. Um, number three is put a what's in it for them um, into the subject title, which is like really crazy and long, but you can do it. So here's some examples. Stop losing clients. Join by 5 p.m. Action required. Contact uh, Contract approval by EOD to avoid, avoid project delay. So things like that, I mean, they'll be really long, but at least the first part will be visible in the, the fold that they see. Another one, of course, that I'm always using is personalized. So in automated email um, programs, emailer programs, they now have a custom, they've always had a custom name where you can actually put it now into the subject title. A couple of years ago, that was forbidden in Canada and Everybody in the U.S. was doing it, but that allegedly, apparently, according to research, increases open rates if they think it's personalized. Another one that was really special and surprising that we've used a lot is emojis. Emojis are everywhere. There is even like movies with emoji characters in them. It's really hilarious. Uh, another way, and remember, this is like mini tips for sticky subject lines. Another one is uh, short questions. So this one's really worked for me. Uh, so you just put thoughts or you put, did you see this? Or you put, are you there? So things that you would actually say to friends, just quickly checking in with them. So that, that really works well for me. Another one. And the last one that I love, uh, is a celebrity name drop and celebrity name drops are great. You could even do like, uh, not just celebrities, but celebrity, um, schools or celebrity, um, venues. So, but here's some celebrity name drop examples. So the subject title of the email would say Amber Heard did this. She's in the news like every day now, but they're pretty amusing. Uh, Oprah has never seen this. I usually use a lot of this in my email um, marketing. Um, 
the marketing secret only Elon Musk knows. So stuff like that, it's very, very um, helpful to have sticky email subject titles. And then, of course, the body has to be always about once, you know, you get them to open it has to be about their pain. You cannot be selling your stuff, talking about your products and services, talking about your features and benefits. It's got to be pain, 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 but it's all about their pain. Sometimes when I'm teaching, people think when I say pain, they start telling me about their pain. No, it's about the target's pain. Nobody cares about your pain. So those are some of the, um, the ways that you can really quick tips on how to have stickier subject titles when I start working with clients and I look at their emails, especially, you know, it could be cold emails or it could be prospecting emails or it could be warm prospecting emails. You still should apply all of these rules because they make, you know, they make it more interesting. If people are getting, what was it? 121 emails a day. You want to make them sticky and you want to make them stand out and you want to make them relevant so that people open them, read them, and then convert into a meeting. So that was a, a short one. I barely had time to sip another one. Mm. I am finishing off running to the gym and then running to the doctors. So I hope this Tuesday is kind to you. And I hope it's kinder to your skin than it has been for me. And next week, I should be very, very much healed with whatever new uh, advice and creams they're going to give me for my giant Botox inspired lips. All right, everyone. Take care. Have a good week. Bye-bye.